So this is Jarrett. I'm playing Oxygen Not Included, and today we're going to do a project to enable base cooling. So I'm just going to build some tiles around my base. So my project is going to have a bunch of liquid pipes go all around the base. And those pipes are going to exchange heat a lot better if they're going through tiles than gas. Alright, so let's have a look at temperature around my base. 23 degrees right in the center. That's really good. Over in the kitchen area, we've got 26. Steam turbine is 29. That's getting a little warm. No surprise there. So what I'm doing here is I'm replacing any pipes that go through the tiles with liquid bridges so that I'm going to be able to bring my cooling pipes back and forth between any of the tiles on the floor. Alright, so now that I've redirected some uh, pipes to skip over the tile flooring, I'm going to start off with building some radiant pipes over some of the most important areas I want to keep cool. So that's going to be food, first of all. I already have some radiant pipe over in my uh, steam turbine, and that actually might be the only real two locations I need that amount of uh, cooling. Everywhere else, I'm going to use granite tile, or granite to pipes. At this point, I'm going to identify all the rooms that I want to have some cooling occur in, in my base. I'm then going to take the granite pipes and wrap piping all through the flooring of those rooms. And the whole thing is going to connect together to make one massive loop. So while my dupes are putting the final touches on that, I'm going to build a spot for a liquid reservoir. I'm going to have this filled with brine. I could have also used polluted water. It would have been a good choice as well. The reason for using polluted water or brine is to allow that liquid to take on negative temperatures. I'm having a liquid thermal sensor installed. I'm having the pipe go through that on its way out before it goes anywhere else. All right, so the idea here is from this point, I'm going to have water sent all around the base, or at least the areas that I want to have cooled. So it's going to wrap around here, go around here. Let's see, take some of that out. It will wrap around here. Wherever I need it, put in the liquid bridge, I'll make sure it's going in the right direction. And it should make a full loop back. Just waiting for this to be constructed. And I'm going to start to be able to see the brine make a loop around my base, which is exactly what I want. So I'm having a liquid shutoff put in near the input to the liquid reservoir, putting logic connecting to the temperature gauge. And how this works is if the temperature needs to be cooled, in this case above 20 degrees, I'm having the brine go up first before it goes into the liquid reservoir. To make that process more efficient, I'm making that out of radiant pipe. And I'm keeping it really close to this pump. So we're gonna need that pump in the next episode, so I'm keeping that in place. So building my radiant pipes all around the area, I'm having the brine enter back into liquid reservoir in priority over the main brine that goes through the entire system. So ultimately, when the liquid inside that uh, liquid reservoir is too warm, colder stuff from here is going to start filling in and cooling the whole thing down until it gets cold enough to the desired temperature at which point it'll stop going through the cold. So we start off now we can see that it's taking the temperature of the brine and then seeing if it's above 20 it is not therefore the system is not taking on extra cooling. If this water starts to uh, brine starts to warm up it will eventually go into this direction and take some of the cooling with it. So when that cold area above starts to get too warm, I'm going to use that pump to pump out the brine to bring in new salt water. We'll see that in the next episode. I've realized I forgot to connect the area around the steam turbine, so I'm just bringing that in so I'll make sure that stays cool. Alright, so it has not been long at all since this thing has been running. I already have 21 degrees here, 22 degrees. Uh, like I said, we've got a little bit of colder area. This is going to slowly warm up as the general water warms up. So the whole idea is this system is going to stop it from getting any colder than uh, 
than 20 degrees. It, it's a little bit excess cold just because I initially filled it with some really cold water. If I had filled it with water that was warm or different temperature, that would have been a different story. But that, that's all right because this will slowly warm up as time goes on. I'm going to say I'm quite happy with that. That's going to keep my base at a steady temperature going forward. And I'll just mention one other thing. I do want to keep this pipe going out of that because we're going to use that in the next episode where we use the electrolyzer to turn water in an efficient way into oxygen. And I hope to see you in that episode. Till then.